Hey guys, so today I want to go over weapon lights really quick. I want to go over the benefits of using weapon light, why you should use them, what, are, what they are exactly. Um, and then a review on this one right here. This is the TLR1 HL from Streamlight. I got this about six or seven years ago and I'll do a review on it, see how it's been holding up since then. But first let's go ahead and talk about why I have a weapon light on my pistol or a rifle, etc. Before I get into the review, I'm going to first go ahead and share with you the reasons why I carry weapon lights and why I'd recommend that you do if you don't. Whether it's a you know, concealed carry pistol or it's a home defense pistol or rifle, whatever, having a light is pretty important and it can help you in a defensive tactical situation. And the reason why, there's two reasons for me personally, okay? One is it lets you identify your target even in a dark environment, whether it's pitch black in your house or you're outside in the dark, maybe in some low lit environment, place you're not used to, whatever, you need to be able to identify your target before you shoot them, okay? That's almost, it's a gun safety rule, you know? You need, you need to know, you're responsible for every round you shoot. You need to know exactly where the target and the bullet will be going, okay? So that's why you, you need a light, that way you can see, okay? And this thing is, this, this model right here, this one's 800 lumens. Now the newer TLR ones are 1,000 lumens. They also make 300 lumen model ones. I wouldn't get that. But um, yeah, this one's 800, and it's got really high candela as well. So basically what that means is this thing's got tons of light output, and the focus beam throws really well, and it's super concentrated at a point, and it's extremely bright. Even in daytime, like this thing is very, very bright if you're close enough to it. Like, just having this on right now in the daylight, like, I can't see this comfortably. And I can't see what's beyond it very clearly either because that light is just overwhelming everything and you just cannot see really directly behind it. Which leads into my next reason why I'll carry a light. And that's because it's blinding. It's very, very blinding to the person on the receiving end. Very uncomfortable. So, think about it this way. I have the ability to see everything at night pretty much, or at least the target potentially, depending on how close they are, I can see them, I'll illuminate them, and they can't really see me that well, especially if they're somewhat close and it's dark, like the darker it is, the brighter this thing's going to appear, and the more blinding it will be. So I can see you, but you can't see me. That's, that's why these things are great, these things can be very, very debilitating. You know, like a direct flash to the eyes, especially in dark environments, it's, it's a lot a lot a lot and you also have a strobe as well I'll get into that later but um yeah those are the two biggest reasons why I'll carry this I, I have lights on my all my guns pretty much so at home and when I'm carrying I always got one and yeah that's those are the reasons why I'd recommend that you carry lights if you don't so next let's go ahead and talk about this light right here so this is the TLR1 HL. I've had it for, like, like I said, six, seven years, and it's, I think it's a great light. I think it's one of the best lights out there. Streamlight's a great company, and I love the design. So just when you're punching out, everything should be in line, your thumbs are in line. Punching out, this thumb will be right there. You can easily just get that momentary on. So if you're room clearing or you just want to quickly get some light on somewhere, let go of it whenever you need to, you have that option. Just holding it down, letting it go. You also have uh, like a stable on, essentially, so flicking it up. Now, without even touching that button, it's still on, okay? So you can flip this side up on the left side, or you can push this one down on the right side, but I wouldn't use your pointer finger, but this is ambidextrous, so if you shoot left-handed, just know that it's, up, it's backwards, basically. Down is a momentary on the left side, down on the right side locks, up on the right side is momentary, up on the left side locks. So it is ambidextrous, it's just the controls are flipped. Okay. And then also it has a strobe. Strobe is you push down twice on the left side and then up twice on the right side. There's your strobe. And strobe, you know, it's usually for defensive use. It's really, really disorienting and uncomfortable, but just the bright the light itself is so bright that, personally, I don't know if the strobe is necessary because this is extremely bright and really uncomfortable in itself without the strobe, but whatever. It's there if you need it. Also, you can do the stable strobe. So push down twice to activate the strobe and up quickly. 
from there. Now it's on. And that can lead into some things as well. You could just take the flashlight off while it's on the strobe, put it somewhere else. You can run around and flank someone just like in kick ass. Yeah, I don't know if you'll ever actually have to do that. I mean, maybe it's possible, but I don't know. The option is there if you want to do something super high speed and tactical like that. But, um,. Yeah, very comfortable light. I've got two holsters that accommodate this light, two different companies. Very common light, so you shouldn't have too hard of a trouble getting a holster for it. So, yeah, let's go over some more of the features up close, okay? Okay, so here we have the light detached from my pistol. As you can see right here, it's got this little key. That's what it's called. It's for uh, This one's for Glock, so all this does, you can take it out, replace it. This lets this light fit to my Glock or for any kind of Glock style rails. Otherwise, you can take it out, put a different one on. That way, it can fit any kind of Picatinny rail system. So, Picatinny rails are very common on a lot of pistols and rifles, etc. This thing can go on all sorts of different types of guns as long as they've got Picatinny rails or the Glock style rails. Also, this is right here. This is what screws and tightens the rails once you put them on. You can just use a flathead screwdriver or your thumbs until you get it all the way tight as you want and then changing the battery is pretty easy so flip this guy up here that kind of opens it up push up and then it takes two of these guys right here these are the which ones are these these are lithium ion CR123 alphas so it just takes two of these I've only had to replace them one time I think I've had this thing for years but then again I don't have it running consistently on the light so You've got, it shows you which way to put them as well. Two little indicators. This one is upside down right here. Yep. Put that guy back on. And then you gotta kind of bring it out and down like this. And then you push it forward in there. Whoops, you can't see that. And then you flip that back down. Okay. Um, this thing is made from aircraft aluminum very very durable it's also waterproof and the price isn't too bad the price for this thing is about anywhere from 100 to 130 depending on where you go from what i've seen and like i said there's thousand lumen models now very bright they also have increased candela if you're unfamiliar with what candela is candela is basically how intense the, the focus beam will be and how far the throw could be that's candela lumens is mostly all the max light output overall but basically you want high lumens, high candela. This thing's got both. It's a great light. All right, then real quick before we go, I'll show you guys how to install it. So this one, Glock style rails for this Glock. What you're gonna do is push this button on the side, that screw, you know, push that in to widen those clamps. There's some spring tension there that you'll feel. You push that, line everything up, put it on. And you're just gonna screw that down, twist it up. Get as tight as you can. For shallow enough, you can get it pretty tight. Otherwise, you can use a flathead screwdriver or something to really cinch that down. There you go. Super tight. Really durable. And I recommend it. I mean, I've had this thing for many years. It served me well. I've had no issues. I think the price is right considering the whole package you get. Streamlight's a great company. And this light can be used on a pistol or a rifle or there's any kind of gun that has Picatinny rails on it. But uh, yeah, oh, also, it comes in flat dark earth as well, and flat dark earth brown from what I've seen. So if you've got a brown pistol or you know a tan pistol and you want a more matching light, then it comes different colors as well, so that's good. And yeah, hope you guys learned something about lights in general, weapon lights, and also about this light in particular. Definitely recommend it. I'll have links in the description below where you can find this. And yeah, until next time guys, take care. Bye-bye.